perfect now you can see your uh, your digital bird application is transferred on ec2 instance and at this ec2 instance we have here a same application which we had in our local computer so this was in our local computer and this is the same application we are having inside this ec2 instance now let me uh, show you it once again inside this app.py all right so there inside this app.py i have here a flask and distill bird and uh, let me close that one that was the previous one and it has congrats server is working i'm gonna say that here ec2 server is working all right there ec2 flask server is working and uh, thereafter i have one more very important thing is here that's mean i am i i have used here use reloader is equal to false and it is really very important to make it false thereafter it is running at the host 0.0.0, .0 all right and port is 5000 debug is equal to the true thereafter we have here another file and that file is distillbert.model all right so this is actually saying that use only cpu while prediction and do prediction from here and we have here a third file this is just a test file we are not going to use it but it is just a test file to test whether our uh, you know uh, the server is working or not i mean this load model is working or not so to test it whether it is working or not the first thing which we are going to do here we are going to inside this project if you have uh, if you have this file all right and uh, inside this project otherwise you can just press ctrl and b in your computer then with the ctrl and b it will pop up this window it asks about which build you want to make here i want to make it on python thereafter you will see here it will start running this script in your uh, sublime text itself if you do not have sublime text in your uh, computer either in local computer or ec2 instance you can download it from mozilla Fire, firefox browser which i had shown you previously download this uh, download this uh, uh, this sublime text and uh, after that the sublime text editor you can open this file in sublime text editor now it says that yes it has received uh, received this one actually this movie is great all right thereafter it is doing some downloading okay so this downloading is necessary because at the first time it downloads some necessary packages thereafter thereafter it is predicting here a pos uh, positive all right perfect that's mean our distilled bert model is working at uh, ec2 instance now our task is to run our uh, flask application and see whether it is working with the api or not let's go ahead close it i can just close it from here itself i don't need it again thereafter i need to open here i need to open uh, you know i need to open here a bash but if you see there we do not have a git bash here because we had installed a git bash in our local computer and uh, if you want to install your git bash in your uh, uh, ec2 instance you can install but i would not recommend you to install git bash because it will eat up memory and uh, on ec2 instance ram is very costly so it's better to work with minimal system all right so i'm gonna open here conda all right i'm just gonna write here conda uh, i should get here anaconda if it is not coming with the conda then let's go ahead type there the anaconda all right so with this anaconda we have got it thereafter i'm gonna just copy this address then i need to cd change directory to that address thereafter as usual we need to run here python.py now you have here I don't understand. sorry it's my actually uh, google google home speaker so it has uh, perhaps predicted some okay google 
all right perfect uh, it is taking a little time because there is a lot of things which is uh, downloading all right we need to wait for uh, some time let me switch off my first google home otherwise it will you know it will keep disturbing us perfect now it says that our model is running at 0, 0.00500 address so the best way to test it as we have been testing it we have to open a local host and once we open a local host we will see that the congratulations message we should get first because we have there two type of api one for uh yes make it default one api we have for testing all right just a second web browser definitely i do not want to use internet explorer this internet explorer sucks actually i don't know why microsoft is offering internet explorer all right now i'm gonna put here local host 5000 let's go ahead and run it it is saying that congrats ec2 flask server is working and yes congratulations you have working ec2 flask server now our another task is to check now another task is to check whether uh, apis are working or not the apis which we had earlier on our uh, local computer so this is our local computer you do not see any ec2 there all right so that is why you can check it this is a local computer in this local computer we had distilled but prediction all right and uh, on the ec2 EC instance we all uh, we also have this uh, python file but we need to open here a jupyter notebook so for that i'm going to open here anaconda all right once you open anaconda here now uh, we are going to cd that is change directory and then i'm going to write here jupyter sorry actually the notebook oops jupyter notebook then after this what we get here perfect uh, this jupyter notebook will be opened in our default browser uh, just wait a second perfect let's go ahead open this distill but prediction all right perfect so this is we have here distill but prediction on our um, on our ec2 instance let's go ahead and run it uh, in fact actually we did not want it to run it it is not necessary to run it i don't need this one on jupyter notebook i need to test actually the api although it has started to run uh, let it run all right well, i don't need that actually i need it from api so this is the api import request json let's go ahead and shift it uh, sorry run it with shift and enter thereafter i'm gonna check it on the local host and it says that congrats ec2 flask server is working thereafter i'm gonna run it there we have got the data so this is the same file which we had used in our local server thereafter i'm gonna run it and i should get here a result a positive sentiment because i'm calling here get sentiment for this data so this says that this movie is great i have enjoyed a lot that's mean uh, this is a positive sentiment uh, this is the first time this might take a little time and yes it has returned a result positive now there i have the another text data let's go ahead and see what is going to be result for this text data this movie is horrible return my money this says that this is the negative all right so there i have response date all right so with this response we have got it the type of this response is the dictionary and then the keys of this response are result and if you get uh, the data from that key the value is negative so you see i'm doing the same thing which i had done on my local server that is why i'm not going to write all these codes one by one uh, one more thing i want to show you let's go ahead and copy it i want to i want to show you the speed here all right since but takes a lot of the time 
and uh, even distill part also takes time so let's go ahead and test how much time it is taking to complete this loop let's go ahead and run it it should take uh, some second yes it says that it is taking two second let's go ahead and do a time it so the time it will run seven times this loop and then it will give us total mean time of this loop so why this is taking time there could be many reason the first reason distilled BERT model is still large although this is smaller than original BERT model and another thing we are running on free EC2 server which has a lower speed and uh, lower clock size lower clock speed for the CPU low memory and low RAM so all these things could be uh, an uh, problem for this one could be a problem so the overall on average it says that it is taking around 1.95 so the roughly you can say that it is taking two second to get get a response from the server that's mean from a flask server do remember uh, we are getting this response from flask server in EC2 instance itself we are not getting this response from outside of the EC2 instance so in the next lesson I'll show you how you can access this EC2 instance from the outside of this server that's mean from your local computer how you can access EC2 instance uh, server I mean this machine learning server all right perfect so this is all about in this lesson thanks for watching I'll see you in next lesson